Hi, I'm Mike Dano, and welcome to the RCR Wireless Newscast for this week. With me is uh, Tracy Ford, the editor of RCR Wireless News, and she is just back from the WiMAX World Trade Show in Chicago, where she and a team of uh, uh, RCR staff, including reporters Ali Winter and Gary Salazar, covered the uh, WiMAX World Trade Show. And so she's back here with us uh, here in the RCR offices to give us her uh, outlook on the show and, and how it went. So, Tracy, thank you for joining us. You bet. Um, and I guess my first question is, what was the big news at the show? Obviously, the big news was uh, Sprint's Zoom WiMAX launch in Baltimore. Uh, it's a small launch, but uh, Sprint had committed that it would launch in September with multiple devices and multiple pricing plans. Um, so everyone was pretty excited about that, that there is finally a live commercial WiMAX standard launch. Uh, people are very excited about it. Uh, they've been waiting for years for this to happen, and it finally did happen. And so that, I mean, that was the big news. That was it. You know, everything, a real WiMAX everything else is we are, we're entering this new era of mobile internet and what it's going to bring, and the Baltimore launch is just the start, and they're definitely saying it's, it's just the start. The devices that are out today are not necessarily devices that they're planning to have in five years, but um, the first step was taken, and okay. so that was the excitement. Right, that is exciting. Uh, let's see. So, so that was the it was the first launch, the first real mobile WiMAX stuff. Um, so, the general attitude at the show was. I thought there was a lot of energy. I was thinking that with the down economy and uh, especially this week's stock market tumbles, and because this is a new industry, uh, people would be uh, a little more nervous, a little more skeptical. And certainly people were aware that not everybody's going to make it, and like all other industries, there will be consolidation. But really, uh, uh, they've spent so much time saying, Will WiMAX work? Will WiMAX work? And it works. And so I think that because they've crossed that hurdle, um, they're very excited about going forward. And uh, WiMAX World, uh, the people who produce the show, Transmedia under Yankee Group, said that they had record attendance and they released the numbers today and they said there were 9,000 people who attended. I, I believe that. There definitely was a lot of people, there were a lot of people at the show. And the vendors who I talked to said they were happy with the quality of the people at the show. There weren't tourists, as someone told me. There were actual legitimate customers. And so this may be the signal of maybe larger and larger and more uh, active trade shows and, and I, I think so. I, I definitely feel like what could have been a, a, a down year because of the economy and because of WiMAX has been delayed so many times uh, up until this point that um, there could have been a different, a different vibe, and there wasn't. It really was. Um, people were excited, you know. Okay. Um, and so, uh, as with all uh, uh, kind of technology-based trade shows, there's always the uh, the question of what kind of technology is the best and which one is going to win out in the end. And so the conversation has long been about LTE versus WiMAX. And so. Was there a consensus at this show between uh, LTE versus WiMAX? I know there was a lot of discussion on the topic. Definitely there was. Um, the day before the pre-show um, was a 4G executive summit, and there was a lot of talk about LTE. Uh, AT&T was one of the main speakers at that conference, and he, the, uh, Hank Kapka was the guy who spoke, and he was pretty uh, made a strong case for LTE and that WiMAX would remain a niche technology, and it would not be deployed worldwide, and you should get on the LTE bandwagon. Um, uh, during the show, however, the, the speakers, more than one speaker, pointed out that it really isn't about the technology. Yes, there is LTE. Yes, there is WiMAX. There is going to be LTE. It's going to happen. But WiMAX is legitimate, too. What um, I thought was interesting from the Clearwire and uh, Motorola and Zome speakers all three independently made the case that WiMAX is not about the technology. Yes, the technology exists, but what's exciting about WiMAX is the business model, the fact that you are not required to have a long-term contract, the fact that you can buy it for a day, um, that you can go into Best Buy or one of Best Buy's competitors and pick up a device off the shelf, take it home, activate it yourself, uh, and not be required to have this long, drawn-out this is what you do, this is how you have to sign, the price is this if you uh, sign this contract, and the price is this if you sign this contract. There isn't any of that with WiMAX. And so uh, will LTE have that same business model? Perhaps. Um, but uh, again, I think that, that the, the overall theme of the show was really that 
the vision is starting. The, the promise is beginning. So now that the WiMAX World Trade Show is over, uh, what are the next steps for the industry uh, now that the networks are, are, are kind of in the process of being rolled out? I think the Baltimore launch was a very controlled launch. Um, it's a smaller geographical area. Um, Sprint needs to get Chicago up and running. I think they said they had 600 cell sites ready to go, but it's a much larger geographic region. Um, individually, I'd like to see what their advertising plans are, who they're appealing to. I would assume initially it'll be a younger, um, more urban demographic who would want wireless broadband. Uh, probably the most important thing that needs to happen is uh, Sprint and Clearwire need to get through their regulatory process so they can complete their merger for the new Clearwire and get some momentum behind that. Okay, so that's really the next step is to, to, to get the actual Clearwire brand out, yes. the Clearwire business strategy moving forward and kind of consolidate that mm -hmm. sort of effort. Okay. Well, Tracy Ford, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, this is the RCR Wireless Newscast for uh, the WiMAX World Trade Show. Uh, for more information on the wireless industry, please visit our website. It's rcrwireless.com. I'm Mike Dano. Thanks for watching.